Alright, so I hope you're going to like this. I, I, got a, I got a personal big joy out of this one. So, uh, it's occurred to me that people have been repairing aluminum for quite a while, but it's not mainstream. Uh, but it's, it's, it's going to become mainstream. It's a skill that you're definitely going to want to have in your bag of tricks. So, uh, here we take Jack and we give him a worst case scenario. We don't let him use his torch rig that stays exactly where you set it. We make him use mine. You bump it on anything, you breathe on it wrong, and the, and the, the shape of the flame changes. We give him uh, a acetylene bottle that's running out of acetylene, uh, worst case scenario. We're giving him um, uh, uh, soldering rods, brazen rods, that are um, the cheapest that you can possibly get. One of the best is going to be, uh, I believe Silverloy makes it, and it's like AL822, okay? But that is only five inches per stick, and uh, it's about 60 bucks for like six sticks, okay? The stuff I give Jack, about the, cheap, the cheapest that you can find on Amazon, okay? And uh, I just basically threw him under the bus, threw him out there uh, into the waves, threw him in the pool, and uh, said, use what you've learned working on copper and fix these leaks. Take a look at what this boy did. He's barely... I mean, he's, he's hardly old enough to drive. You know what I mean? Take a look at it. I'm proud of the boy. Jack here, just doing a little playing around. Uh, this is a skill that's going to become more and more necessary as time goes on because things are being made out of aluminum. We're giving him the worst case scenario here. Uh, acetylene bottle that's basically almost out of acetylene. So you're going to have to have the weirdest kind of flame, the worst kind of flame you'd ever want to use. And uh, I'm going to give him a, a nice big hole here to work on. All right, Jack, put your skills on that, bud. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I put a screw in the wrong spot. Don't need the rod. Remember, get your base metal right first. This stuff is not going to flow. Lovely. It's not going to flow like a, uh, a regular brazen rod. Okay? So once you got it, don't try to smooth it out. Ow! <laughs> Went my eyeball. Oh. Don't try to smooth it out. Dude, you, you got it. It's done. <laughs> Good job, man. Here. Here, do one more. <laughs> here, I already here. put it out. <laughs> here, do one more. This one be down on the side a little bit. You're not gonna, you never want to try aluminum brazing with a pinpoint flame like that. But when you're almost out of acetylene, this is when you really got to learn how to keep that rod away from it. Work the base metal. Get both sides of the hole. There you go. Heat the whole general area up. Mm -hmm. It'd be a lot easier if you had the right amount of acetylene and you could make the right shape of a flame. Work your magic here, bud. So you come off of the base metal, and that's why it's giving you a hard time. Got to keep that torch steady, all right? Because it's still similar in that it's going to want to flow to your heat, all right? You're melting the rod. Hey, you got that Caught pretty good, man. Got a little man. Booger, pretty but good, man. And like I said, like I said, don't put it out. Don't put it out. You ain't done practicing. <laughs> There you go. There you go. All right now. 
man, you do it this way when you finally actually got the real, real flame that you need, you'd be, start calling you butter. Mmm, butter, look at you, man. Dude, I'm proud of you. That's a good job, man. You should be proud of yourself. There's not a lot of guys out there play with aluminum. So it's not very common. At least nope. not yet. Good job, bud. Still using this janky torch with this empty acetylene bottle. It's good, buddy. See how you're walking your flame off? Yeah. Got to keep the base metal hot. It won't stick. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, cool. Try that other one. It's about getting that base metal to just the right temperature and then keeping it there while you work. Sweet. Do a little circle around that. It's not going to smooth as much as a braise. Get rid of that wing nut. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Alright. We'll come off of it. Good job, man. Other one here. Oh, you want to try to do this one? I didn't even clean that one up. We'll see if there's a difference. See, aluminum's going to get this oxidization on the outside of it, this white oxidized nastiness. Okay? So those other two holes, you cleaned them up. This one, you're just letting it rip. All right, it's popping a little bit. I'm gonna call it done. Okay. Probably good to let it cool down. But let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and see. Let's test this here. This one. Grab this little blob here. See if I can pull your solder off. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Oop. Try to abuse this here. Say you got it, bud. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Let's try this one here. Let's see what you got here. Let me scratch from one side to the other. Good job, bud. Alright, so we're going to put Jack to the test here one more time. Here's his first couple practice joints ever. And they didn't turn out too bad. They didn't turn out too bad at all. So, we're going to see the difference on this aluminum. You see how aluminum will get this white, chalky oxid oxidization on there. And one of the big tips on aluminum is you got to remove that and you got to be working with shiny aluminum okay but over here we're going to give Jack one more test here we're going to see we're going to see how he does on these three holes here Alright, 
so we're going to take two of these holes and we're going to shine them up real good. All right, a wire brush is even better because it's going to get down in there. Wiping it off, wiping it off with some alcohol or something like that after you're done to make sure it's perfectly clean. Even better. So we're going to do these two or sand it and right here just going to let it rip potato chip. Let's see how Jack does with this. I got my money on you Jack. I think you got this. Alright. What you got here? Oh, that's all right. All right. See what you got here. Yeah. All right, almost out of acetylene. It's the worst case scenario. Some of the cheapest rods that you can buy on Amazon or anywhere. The best, one of the best rods is that AL. 822 but uh, it's going to come in five inch sticks it's all right just work with your heat on the base metal anytime you're trying to work with the heat on the base metal pull the rod out for a minute oh, oh, oh sinking it in full collapse <laughs> I'll see come back over here see if I can save this one <laughs> all right that looks pretty good all right now on to the one with no prep no cleaning that's right Here, man, let's give you one more. There you go. Let's see how you do with that. Base metal first. Don't even think about the rod. You're going to be a lot better with the right kind of flame, which would be a bigger fan. And actually, it's really hard to do aluminum with an oxygen and acetylene torch simply because it gets too hot. So you really got to learn how to play with the heat, which is what torch work's all about anyway. Oh. Good. I think this one's going to show us what I was trying to see. All right. You got it. You ain't got to worry about trying to make it pretty. Yep. You see here, you got just a little too hot, right? And collapsed the tube a little bit, right? No big deal. The leak is sealed somewhat <laughs> all right so you got your bottle off right here slide that torch there and um, use these channel locks and dig around here try this one up here this one you just did the one that didn't get no sanding or nothing yep it's got a little nugget one there you could grab it if you wanted to all right, good, very good. Let's see if you can pull that off of there. Oh, mm -hmm. now you see what happens if you don't get it down to the to the bare shiny metal, huh? But look, look over here. You're grinding from one side, and you're gonna you're not gonna do this after you really make a repair, right? The goal is to know what's happening so that after you make a repair you don't have to test yourself that's why you're playing around here in the in the in the shop junk pile right that's pretty good jack right there you can dig around on that pretty good and this one this one right here see if you can pop this one off That one's stuck better. My guess would be that the heat from doing this one and this one worked with that oxidization a little bit before we, before you got on there. Because we didn't sand this one. But clearly we just popped a hole in here and didn't sand it 
you had something on there that looked good, right? Mm-hmm. It looked good. But popped right, off. popped right off of there. See, there it is right there. Down in there. So, if you clean it up real good, you got this, man. Pretty good. Pretty good. Thank you. Alright, we don't pull the whole end out here. We just really trying to ask for trouble. Let's stick that down in there. I got it, I got it. This is dirty. Oh man, this is dirty. Wrong size flame. I like to do the, the jam method, see, because I can pack it down in there. Because you're not going to get it clean down in the little cracks. I don't care if you even use a, uh, a wire brush. You're going to have one little spot down in that middle of that V down in there that you just can't get it clean. So, we're going to... Look, this is awful, man. Awful flame. But, if you're... If it's after closing hours and this is the end of your bottle, this is what you're going to have to do. It's about learning how to work with the flame and the heat anyway. If you have your bottle full, it makes it a lot easier. Alright. Ow, oh, this rod's getting hot. Ouch! A fresh one in my hand. Ow, oh, man, I'm tight wide. Ow! 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 <laughs> uh, I bonded my finger. When it's popped, but you know, if you got the right size flame, you don't have to get in there so close. Anytime you're going to get in there close, right, it's going to pop. If it's your last rod, grab it with some channel rocks. You know what I mean? We're just playing around here. But look, let's just see if we can break that joint. You see where it blowed out when I hit it with the torch? Yeah, see? That's a. That was a perfectly good aluminum repair right there, if it wouldn't have been for the playing around. All right, so look. Me and Jack managed to pull this off, just playing around. Uh, but it's gonna be a skill that you gotta keep working on. Play on dirty junk aluminum, and when it really comes time to have to do it and get it done, you won't be scared.